Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hello to my sisters and my brothers in Christ. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Taisha, and I'm founder of Something for the People Ministry. Um, you can subscribe on YouTube. Um, I started off the platform with Facebook. Facebook is doing well, but I need more people across the world um, to hear me and to understand what's being said from the say the Lord. Uh, it's bigger than, than me. So I thank you all who have subscribed. Once again, you can subscribe at Something for My People Ministry. It is on YouTube. So I thank you so much. Um, let's pray and get started with the message. Father God in heaven, this is me, your child, Taisha. Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I love you. I thank you. I praise you. I worship you. Lord, I ask that you mute me in anything that I would say, Lord, and replace it with your words, Father God. I rebuke any, any antichrist spirit, any python spirit, any kind of spirit that will try to come over me or my viewers, Father God, to block us from doing and saying and hearing what you want us to hear, what you want us to say. In the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for using me, Lord. These are your words. I am just a vessel. I love you, Lord, and I thank you. Amen. Okay, y'all. Today, um, this message, the message is coming from First Chronicles, chapter, I believe, thirteen. Yes, uh, thirteen through seventeen. And um, I'm going to sum it up just to kind of help you guys to understand what we're talking about. So today, God gave me First Chronicles. And as I was reading it, because I start from the beginning and I go through. And um, he began to minister to me on what to tell you all by what he gives me to read for that, for that morning, for that day. So today, his message was mainly, it's a reminder. And he's saying, um, do you remember what I did for David? Do you remember how... Everywhere David went, you know, his enemies were his footstool, that I wouldn't let his enemies touch him. Do you remember the promises that I made to David? Uh, do you remember that I told David that his offsprings would um, be men over many, many nations, kings over many nations? He said, do you remember that uh, I told my people, my children uh, of Israel, my chosen children, that they will have the land of Canaan? They will inherit the land of Canaan. He said, do you remember that I um, sent many, many men to uh, help David, to help David when he would war against the Philistines? He wants you to remember all the things that he did for David because you too are the inheritance. You know, and you inherited this. You're the offsprings of David, I mean. You're the offsprings of David. So, um... The seed of Abraham, Abraham, the seed of Abraham. And um, he wants you to know that stick with him, stick with him, stick with him, stick with him, stick with him. There's nothing that you can do without him. And um, he wanted me to let you guys know that, for example, David needed mighty men to join him, to join him in war from one tribe was 18,000 that God sent. One tribe was 50,000. One tribe had 37,000. One tribe had 40,000. One tribe had 120,000 with weapons ready for war on behalf of David. So God said, I will send you whatever you need. Anybody that you need, I will send you. When you're doing my will and what I ask of you to do and you're walking in the column that I have for you, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Also, uh, David, they wanted to claim the ark. They wanted to claim the ark from another city. It was in the China. It was in China. And they wanted to claim the ark. So David came up with the idea. He said we will use Uzzah to go and claim the ark, to get the ark and bring it back to the city of David. But God did not, that was not what he had spoken um, to he, that was that, that was not the person that he had spoken to claim that ark. So when Uzzah went to claim the ark, he was struck down and killed. Once he would kill, see Uzzah 
uh, David was close to him. And David chose to use Ark to, to do that. But God had chosen to use Ark to take back that Ark. So when he tried to do it, um, he was killed. So um, it said, and David was angry because the Lord had broken out against Uzziah. And the place, in that place that was called Perizes, Perizes, Uzziah, to this day. And David was afraid of God that day. And he said, how can I bring the ark of God home to me? So David did not take the ark home into the city of David. So he couldn't take it home that time. But as time passed, he went ahead and the word of God came to him. And he said, well, God, why did you do that? You know, this is David. Why did you do that? You know, what, what was, what was, why did you have to die? He said, because you did not carry, because you did not carry it to the, carry it the first time. The Lord our God broke out against us because we did not seek him according to the rule. So the priests and the Levites consecrated themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord. The God of Israel and the Levites carried the ark of God on their shoulders with the poles, and Moses had commanded that Moses had commanded according to the word of the Lord. So, once again, man should not just live on bread alone, but out of every word that comes out of the mouth of the Lord. So, therefore, if the Lord said it and is spoken, it shall happen. It shall happen. That's one. That's one man that does not lie. So when the Levites came, they were able to get the ark because Moses had spoken that those were the Lord, those were the words of the Lord that the Levites were to get the ark. But they they were who God chosen to get that ark and bring it back to the city of David. So now the ark is back, and David sings a song of thanks. So now David is happy. And this is where we're going into remembering all the things that God has done. And, it, and what David is saying that he wants to do, he said, oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make, make known his deeds among the people. Tell everybody about God. He said, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. He said, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he had done. His miracles and the judgment he uttered. O offsprings of Israel, his servant, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are all the earth. Remember his covenant forever. The word that he commanded for a thousand generations. The covenant that he made with Abraham. He wants us to remember. He said, his sworn promises to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statue. To Israel, an everlasting covenant, saying to you, to you, I will give the land of Canaan, and as and as your portion, and as your portion for an inheritance. When you were few in number, of little account, and surgeons in a wandering from nation to nation, so you were just wandering from nation to nation, just not maybe one to a few of you, wasn't very many of you, from one kingdom to another kingdom. He allowed no one to oppress, oppress you, so no one was able to oppress you. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, touch not my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. I thought that was amazing. Okay. And then the Lord spoke, uh, made a covenant with David because the Lord said, I've been here and I go from tent to tent, place to place, and I never had a house of my own. So David felt as if God was going to ask him to build him a house. But he's like, no, um, I've done other things with you. I made your name um, big. <laughs> I made your name known. Uh, all around, I've let you conquer the Philistines. I made you a king. I made you a prince. You know, I have um, a prince first, then a king. I have done so much. And uh, your, now your offspring, though, your offspring, he shall build a house for me. And I will establish his throne forever. I will be him a father, and he shall be to me a son. 
I will not take my steadfast love from him as I took it from him who was before you. But I will confirm him in my house and in my kingdom forever. And his throne shall be established forever. In accordance with all, all these words and in accordance with all these visions, Nathan spoke to David. So Nathan was a prophet sent by God to speak to David. And um, David is grateful. He's 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 he he's, he's he'll accept that. So, <clears throat> you guys, the message for today is to <clears throat> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep following God. Uh, know that He ain't bringing you this for for real to leave you, and whatever His will is for your life, it will be. Don't have anything to worry about. Um, he will send people divine connections. You will have enough people to help you, to help catapult you into the area he wants you to go in, whether it's in your ministry or your job, um, in your living arrangements. Things are going to work out for the good. And God today wanted us to know, to remember, excuse me, to remember what he had done for David. He said, remember the promises. He said, you know, sometimes we get so wrapped up in what's going on so we don't remember how special we are to God and that he loves us and he wants the utmost for us. He wants He wants us to have everything that we're entitled to have and we will have it. Um, once he has uh, spoken it, it, his words cannot be, can return him. It's spoken and I say it out to you to get it out because some of you, um, may don't read the Bible. Some of you may not know what does say the Lord. So I'm here just for the mouthpiece. I'm here to say, hey, uh, this is what God is trying to say to you. And um, you can confirm it. And I always advise you to go in prayer. Say, Father God in heaven. And I'll teach you how to do that. Go in prayer for those of you who are newcomers and just learning to walk with God. Say, Father God in heaven. Um, Sister Taisha. She said a sermon today and she said these things. And Lord, I ask that you confirm this. If these are from you, you confirm it. And he will do it through your circumstances, what's around you, how your life is going. He would do it through a witness, someone that will repeat the same thing that I have spoken or I have said. And then he would do it through scripture where you may be reading your Bible and the words may jump out at you. And you will know that it is the word of the living God. So I'm just here to make sure that what he's, what he wants said is said. Like somebody has to step up and be the voice. So, um, uh, and ooh, thank you, Lord. The fear is coming over me. Um, just stick on, stand on his word, you guys, for your life. And uh, you should see your circumstances changing. Uh, a lot of you are very, very blessed. I'm sure all of you are very, very blessed. And um, if you're under me, and um, listening to my videos, then I know that you are seeking to know God in a higher form and you want more and more of him. And once again, for those of you who are newcomers, I was led to John's because he said, tell them where to start because some people are confused with thinking they have to start in Genesis and go all the way through. Start in John. Uh, it's a good place. That's where he sent, led me to. And look what I'm doing now. Starting John, I went from John to 1 Samuel and from 1 Samuel to 2 Samuel. And then he started leading me to uh, Jeremiah, Nehemiah, um, Ezekiel. Um, I haven't did Job yet. Esther. No, Ruth. I haven't done Esther yet. Ruth. And so on. It's so all Hebrews. I, uh, Isaiah. This day by day. He started leading me and he would put it on your mind. I promise you, he'll put it on your mind. Because let me let y'all know this too. You all hear from God. A lot of you just block out what you hear because sometimes it may not be what you want to hear. So you may block it out. And because it's not what you want to hear does not mean it's not from God. So you have to just stay close. That's why I tell you guys to get in your Bible. Read so you can know his characteristics. You can know his ways. You can know what matters to him. So you won't be led astray. So if you do hear somebody and they say, let's say you listen to a prophet and you listen to someone on TV and they're telling you um, $4,000. And when you saw this $1,000, God is going to open the floodgates of heaven to you. And you will be blessed through God with your relationship to God. If you have a relationship with him, he may put it on your heart to give that ministry $1,000. But you can't be completely 
listening to the minister or uh, whoever is telling you the property is telling you that because they may not be from God, you know. So it may be you may feel like okay, I don't have a thousand dollars, so I feel like that before. So I'm not gonna get the blessing because I don't have that money. Well, that was not for you, and it may just been for him targeting the people that he felt like would have the money. So you gotta know what your God told you. Because your God, whom you pray to, He's gonna give you your own direction, and you'll know what to do so you won't be led astray. So we want to make sure, I want to make sure that everybody is getting it, that you're understanding how it works. Um, you too can hear from God. You can, you can. God talk to all of his children through our life. You know, you may pray something, pray for something and it don't happen. And you might have in your mind the answers of why it don't happen. Okay, that's God. He's answering you with what's the hold of. So it's like you just might be thinking you're tripping like, no, no, no. But you're not tripping like... He really is speaking to you and you just got to hearken to his voice and you got to learn him. And like I say, get you an English version Bible and get in there and go to the Bible bookstore and get in there and start in John. I think John introduces Jesus because that's how we made it through. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. All that believe in Jesus that he died on the cross. So I just want you guys to know that because I know I have a lot of new people on it on Facebook. And um, they're probably younger generation, a lot of people that maybe don't know these things. So I want to take my time and calm it down and make sure that everybody is getting there because I'm responsible for 12,000 people making it to heaven. And I take that serious. So if it takes me to calm down, slow it down, go to the basics, then that's what I will do. You know, I have my whole lifetime to uh, do this. I have my whole lifetime to make sure that you get in, you understand what you need to understand, and you know what you need to know. And y'all might have seen a little dry today because my girls are up and they're around and they're loud. But I, I don't want to get in the car because it was wet. And I made this sanctuary. I made this place for me. And I'm going to preach and I'm going to do my messages in this room that I made for myself through God. Um, so I love y'all. I thank y'all for listening to me. And let's pray before we go because I like to bless the message coming in. Bless the message going out. And remember that God said, remember what he did for David. Remember the promises. Remember how no one could come against him. That's the same thing with you. No one is going to be able to hurt you. No one is going to be able to talk you out of whatever God has for you. It's for you. And he said one thing about him. Say y'all so used to people lying and not Holding that word. So you feel like, what's the word? What's the word? But you got to understand, we're living on the word of God. So his words are different from any man's words that you would ever hear. So you don't, don't, don't doubt. Don't doubt. Please don't doubt. In Jesus' name, please don't doubt. But let's bow our heads and let's pray again. Father God in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, me and my sisters and my brothers, we thank you for this message. We thank you for encouraging us and letting us know that no matter what we see, you have us. That you have gone before us and made a way before us that no man, no man can stand in the way. All doors are open, Father God. Everything is open, Father God, for us, Lord. You will not let anything get in the way of what you have ordained, what you have called us to do, our purpose. But Lord, we need, we need you. We love you. We thank you. We praise you. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank y'all for praying with me. Thank y'all for staying to the end. And um, it's going to be more to come. It's going to be more to come. Best believe that. I love you guys so much. And um, share, subscribe. Um, do whatever you need to do. Be led by the Spirit. Amen.